So we need to get the chestnuts out of their shells before we can use them. So today we're going to show you how to do that. So here are some American chestnuts. They are smaller and furrier. They have tails and they have basically 10 to 20 percent fat so that makes them seem like they taste sweeter. These are Chinese. They're larger. They're shinier. They don't have the tail and essentially they have no fat. So we are going to show you how to get the Chinese chestnuts out of the shell. So make sure that you find the flat side. Put the flat side down on your cutting board. That's really important so they don't, you don't risk them sliding around. Um, sometimes there's two flat, flat sides. That's fine, just make sure you get one of them. Take a sharp knife, a big heavy knife preferably, and slice straight through it. Don't saw it. Put your other hand on it and put some weight and cut the nut in half. Once you have the nuts cut in half, you're going to have a small pan of water boiling. You're going to put the nuts in there and let them boil for about three minutes. And once you're done with the, them boiling, you're going to strain them. And then while they're still pretty hot, you're going to put them on the work surface. And taking a pair of pliers, either electrician or needle no nose pliers, then you should be able to peel the shell and the skin right off. In this case, the skins are coming. Uh, it may be that the shell goes off, but you still have a thin skin. You need to get that off using whatever sharp instrument you can and being careful because that's a little tough and you want to make sure to get the skin off of it. So these did a beautiful job of coming apart. And um, once we, oops, there you go. <laughs> once we have the shells and the skins off, these nuts are then ready to be used in recipes. So these are not actually, these are not fully cooked. The, this is the process to get the shell off and then from here you would use them in recipes where there will be more cooking. So you can bag these up, seal them, and they will last for a couple of days before you're ready to use them. Or you can put them in the freezer and they will last several months. Enjoy your chestnuts!